Hello, and thanks for joining us for our weekly devotional. Hopefully it's uplifting to you. A couple had two little boys, ages 8 and 10, that were excessively mischievous. The two were always getting into trouble, and their parents could be assured if there was any mischief going on in their town, their two boys were probably involved somehow. So the parents were at their wit's end what to do about their sons, so... The mother had heard about a preacher in town that had been successful at disciplining children. So she asked her husband if he thought it would be a good idea to send their boys to the preacher. The husband said, well, we might as well. We need to do something because I'm really going to lose my temper. The preacher agreed to speak to the boys, but asked them to come in individually. First, the eight-year-old went into the preacher's office, and the preacher sat across from the boy and He asked him sternly, where is God? The boy made no response. So the preacher repeated the question, even in in a sterner tone, where is God? Again, the boy made no attempt to answer. So the preacher this time raised his voice even more, and he shook his finger in the boy's face and said, where is God? At that, the boy jumped up from the seat, bolted from the room, and ran directly home, went up to his room, slamming himself in the closet. His older brother wasn't far behind and got in the closet with him, and he said, what happened? The younger brother replied, we're in big trouble this time. God is missing, and they think we did it. Sometimes we may ask, where is God? And those young boys, they may feel that he's missing, but nothing is farther from the truth. We need to know and we need to believe that that God is always with us. God is never missing. David wrote in Psalm 139 in verses 7 through 10, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Where is God? He's wherever you are. He is always with you. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for your great love, and thank you for the reminder that you're always with us. You never forsake us. Even though we go through trials and tribulations in this dark world, we know that you're always there with us to guide us. Father, we never walk alone, and we just pray we continue to hold to your hand as we go through this world so that someday we can achieve our salvation that you've promised. We thank you, Father, for giving us the promise and giving us eternal life through Jesus. And help us, Father, always to be focused on you and and don't let the things of this world distract us and get us looking in a different direction because we know you're always there, you're always with us, and you're never missing. Thank you, Father, for all your love, and it's through Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful day.